moving belly. Let's talk about a squeaky wheel. Let's talk about a little snout and a piece of, mmm, holy mazong, let's talk about a piece of work. That is a work of art. Hang me by the neck if I don't soon get off. So, screw you. I have a headache already. Tell me you're not getting angry again, my little pussy cat. It's all of me a thing or two. Pussy yourself, mister. What the devil's got you all churned up anyway? For God's sakes, knock it off and keep your paws to yourself. Jesus H. Christ, Miss Whippet. I'm not fooling around. I'm all rare to go and I'll clean your clock. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. You think you can stick it to me? And besides... I'll give you a licking in a minute. Just keep it up. I'll show you where to stick it. Stick to your own business. We'll see who's going to stick to what. I'll be sticking to them. I'll fix your wagon all right when I wipe the floor with you. Over my dead body. God rest the souls of the dearly departed. If you just keep this up, I'm going to belt you one. I'm going to give my all. Oh, yeah? You'll get your all all right. Right off that belt, I'll stick it up your ass. Like I deserve as a lousy drunk like you. Hm. Jesus H. Christ, we'll soon see you. Judge to host that? We will not. What are you anyway? A she devil? Quit pointing around. Get over here. I am here. Are you gonna do what I tell you? No fucking way! I'm a lady. What kind of bill of goods are you trying to sell me anyway? <laughs> Jesus H. Christ, I will be the master of this house. And God Almighty, I will be the mistress. Get over here. And I'll be goddamned if I will. If only there was some blasted way to get around her. You really ought to shit me with this goddamn act of yours. Go on then. Shit a brick, why don't you? Shut up, you piece of shit. Eat shit yourself! No, you. Now you! What a racket. <laughs> Go on. Do your worst. My fine lady. Good, sir. Please, after you. No, after you. Just don't get it. Look at this. Get a load of her. Likewise, I'm sure. What the hell is wrong with you anyway? Shut up. Shut your own gob. You're the one with the big fat trap, you shithead. <laughs> and you're the shitty cobbler. Your father cleaned up chimneys. And yours cleaned up shit. Talk about a charming profession. I'm telling you, yours really swept in chimneys, sticking it in everywhere. And yours was so full of shit that they called him Brownie Brown. My, 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 where are you from a fine family? Huh. Your grandfather was a hangman. Huh. And you're a kill dog! Skin the dirty hunting season! Jesus H. Christ, what does that have to do with it? When I married you, what did you have? And you! Huh. You were practically naked. Barely had two cents. And you've been putting in your two cents ever since. Except when I mentioned you were wearing some schmata. Except you had it on backwards. And you! You had lice crawling all over your head, sucking your brains out. There's another lie out of your vile, filthy, stinking trap. You're lying, you lousy, rotten, hothead. Prepare to meet your maker. And there's another lie. You're a real diva, ain't you? Diva. Mm -hmm. More like a deviant. You're a fire little devil, gone all hog wild. And by the faith that I owe our father the Pope, I'll haul your ass before a judge. And by the faith that I owe, whoever, you're not even a man. Shut up. No, you. What the hell is this anyway? God damn you. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn yourself, dumb, dumb. God damn cake and your cranky clod hoppers. I swear I get my hands on you. I'll show you who's in charge around here. Who? Big man. I'm so scared. Jackass. And just who do you think you're talking to? I'll thank you to employ a more respectful tone when addressing your husband. How dare you diss me? Distinguished practitioner of the shoe like myself? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, holy shit. It's a good thing you let me know about it, bub. In the name of the king of heaven, this is some flippant state of affairs. You know what? I'll tell you. I can barely get a word in edgewise around here when I'm the one that's in charge. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Sure you can, big pussy. 
All you gotta do is try. Will you put a lid on it, woman? There you go again. And it is you, sir, who will not let it go. How's that for a respectful tone? Sir, I wish, sir, that you were dead, sir. And, how do they say? I solemnly affirm that you are in great error, or something like that. Sweet Mother Mary, I'm in love with a lady. And what does it mean to be in love? Oh, for God's sakes, there are worse things I could say. At least I'm not doing anything about it. I'm just a poor clergyman who found to poverty. We men at the cloth have a, a hard time of it, we do. Day in, day out, eight days a week, from place to place, coming and going, going and coming, real hard. Oh, for God's sake. I can't even get my act together to talk to her. Can't find the right moment. Her, her husband, Cooch over there, is so jealous, she's afraid to take the first step and come out of the house. But I swear to God, I'll make a couple of him where they can rip my eyes out. I can see clearly now. I'll have to put an end to this or I'll go start raving mad! I'm telling you now, little man, I gotta go into town. Even if it kills me, I gotta get out of here and go hawk my wares, you hear? You stay here and look after the house while I'm gone. Or mark my words, I'll tan your hide. Watch out yourself! I have affairs that need tending to, for God's sakes. Attend to them, I will! You'll look after the house, because that's what I want you to do. That's what you want. You can do it yourself. Good God. What a drama queen. This is some lot in life I've got here. Lord have mercy. God damn you, Martin Eric Whippet. God damn you and your wild and crazy jealousy. Oh, yeah? I know what I know, and I know what I saw that one time. When the cat's away, the mice will play. This is a very serious matter. Holy shit. Be easier if you were dead already. God would just hang you by the neck or something. In the name of the God whom I believe with all my heart, are you really suggesting that I would ever do such a thing? No, no, not I. I would never be with more than one man. At least, not more than one man at a time. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> Cheesy crazy, Wilhelmina. Why, most certainly yes indeed. I do take you to be a noble woman in that regard. <laughs> but, by Mary, the mother of our Lord, I'm really not so sure. You know what they say. Trust but verify. That's some cockamamie oath. I'd rather be dead and buried. Jesus Christ. Whatever you say, my dear. But, better safe than sorry. I'll be locking you up just the same. For peace of mind. Screw you! You think you can just Lock me up like that! Go out of your mind for all I care. You're not getting out of this house. One of these days, Buster, you'll be sorry. No escape. No use even trying. God freaking dead, punch! You're still keeping this up? What did I just tell you about how you address me? Go out of your mind for all I care. You're not getting out of this house. Before it's time for evening mass tomorrow, I swear, you will be sorry. Go on. Do your worst. Give it your best shot. I will. And, by the way, this, what do you think this is hanging on my belt here? Looks pretty nice, don't it? I have to go keep an eye on the house. Gotta give you a good day, little man. Heavenly Father, hear my prayer. Can't you just Break his neck or something? Gone with the wind. Women, I swear by all that is holy, you can't live with them, and you can't live without them. You gotta be nuts to listen to anything they have to say, always bitching and complaining and raising hell. But frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Is that contrast you leaving his house? Oh, if it's really him this time, I'm all clear to make hay while the sun shines. Oh, boy, oh boy, I sure am hot to trot for that wife of his. Can't wait to get my hands on her. Like it or not, I am going to go see her. I don't care what people say. Huh. 
this looks like a good spot to set up shop. Let's see if I can't make a few bucks off these old shoes. Step right up, folks, right over here. Use shoes and stockings, right here. Should I go over there? If he's really going to be out for a while and the coast is clear, I pray to you, St. Julian and St. Lizzie, uh, Lizzie Borden, let him never come back unless I go and get him myself. In the name of St. John, he's going to get what's coming to him, he is. Hello? Anybody home? Who's there? Open up and find out. I haven't got the keys, for God's sakes. Good, she's got me all locked up in here. Good Lord, what the heck are you saying? Who is it? Uh, it's me, uh, your parish priest, Father John. Oh, I remember you. You've got a thing for me. Now I really can't let you in. Oh, come on, baby, help me out here. You can see very well that I can't. Jesus Christ, I'll break the door down. Oh, no, you won't. You'll do no such thing. But I will tell you something else I thought of to get us out of this one. Do tell. Well, you're going to have to hang around outside for a while. And you're going to need to wait until Cooch gets home. And you're going to need a devil costume. No two ways about it. And then, when Cooch gets home, I'll start in on it again with all the cursing and screaming at the top of my lungs. You know, things like, God damn it to hell, and God strike you dead this instant. That sort of thing. Get it? Yeah, I, I get it. Uh, go on. Keep going. All right. And then, after I keep it up for a while with all the cursing and screaming, Shouldn't be too long before Cooch yells right back, the devil take you. And you're going to be the devil, see? Straight out of hell. You're going to come right up to me, put me on your back, and take me away. I swear, you sure thought the whole thing out all right. Your wish is my command. That's exactly what I'll do. <sighs> Don't be long now. Not another word. I get it. You can take that to the bank. I'm off right now to find my costume. Pretty sure I can find them backstage. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> Mary, Mother of God. Maybe if I keep at it a bit longer. Step right up, folks, right over here. Use shoes and stockings, right here. Old ones, used ones. Old ones, good as new. All in reasonable condition. I swear to God. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up chicks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, oh, they fat him. Eleven, twelve, dig and delve. Thirteen, fourteen, maids a cordon. Fifteen, sixteen, maids in the kitchen. Seventeen, eighteen, maids a waiting. Nineteen, twenty. My platter's empty. As far as I can tell, my whole profession is a thing of the past. Everybody's doing it. God, I might as well just go on home. There's no place like home. Around. I don't even hang to the gallows. Ah! Ah! Take that, you 
careful what you wish for. It might come true. Oh, hell, Mother Mary. This is crazy. Ow. Can't you just go and ask around the parish for her? 
here, there, and everywhere. It's a man whose daughter doesn't bring her back right this minute. Maybe you could excommunicate. Uh, not sure that's much of a disincentive. Uh, but sure, I, I'm happy to give her a try. Mary, Mother of God, I'll buy you around. I promise. Okay, uh, listen up, everybody. I hereby excommunicate the person or persons who this very morning took the wife of my good neighbor, Cooch. Your very soul's at risk if you don't step forward right now and say, I've got her. How's that? How are we doing? That was great, Father. But if you wouldn't mind, could you say something like, well, that I'd like her brought back in good working order, or at the very least in the same condition you found her in, or I'll sing along. Good idea. Okay, uh, listen up, everybody, again. If you've got her, and you don't step forward right now, right this instant, we're going to tan your hide like we would the real devil. No one's breathing a word. I've lost her for sure. Don't worry. We'll find her. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, I'm afraid. Get down right here now and tender an earnest prayer to God. And don't worry. I'll be down the stage offering up something just as tender. Adieu. Adieu to you too, Father. For God's sake, get her back here. Before you know it, she'll be back knocking at your door. You won't have lost a thing but the shame of it all. Alas, your lips to God's ear, Father. My lips, all right. Here, there, everywhere. Hey, enough now. Just rest assured that I'll be giving it my all, because I too love her above all things. Jesus Christ, I said God's honest truth. Oh, baby, we sure got that poor schmuck, but good. Wait till his wife hears about this one. I'm back. I was tricked. What does that poor schmuck have to say for himself now? Believe it or not, he's beside himself. Lordy, lordy, he's over there crying and flailing like a babe in the woods. <laughs> and to top it all, get this, he's over there right now on bended knee, begging God most humbly to bring you back to him right soon or he's a goner. <laughs> Well, I'm praying to God, just as humbly, that he let loose all the hellfire and brimstone he's got on that bum. <laughs> For Pete's sake, it's all perfectly clear. He really loves you. Screw him. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. In just a moment, I'm going to take you back to where I found you. And in the same getup as before, I'm going to put you back where I took you. you know, a place for everything, and everything in its place. You know, uh, back in the right spot. And, uh, speaking of the right spot, first I'm gonna do this. God almighty! You, shoot, you sure do a lot of talking. Oh, uh, baby, you melted my mouth. Uh, Give me some sugar. Uh, mm. uh, oh, just do it already! Oh, uh, God, you sure are built. When nature made you, she really broke the mold. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh,
Welcome back, my dear Miss Whippet. But, but tell me, what sorts of folks they got down there? Uh, all kinds, really. They've got uh, butchers and bakers and candlestick makers and tailors and tanners, but mostly cobblers. Cobblers? You, yeah. for sure. And I swear, I can pretty much vouch for the fact that the whole lot of them's gonna wind up down there. Not to mention, they got so many of them jealous types, they hardly know where to stick them. So, which ones get the full torture treatment? Which ones? Yeah. Hmm. The jealous ones. What the devil are you saying? It's the truth. It's just like I say. Oh, my darling. I beg your forgiveness most humbly. I'll never do it again. From now on, you can have the keys, and you can come and go as you please. Here, here are the keys to the house. Attend to your affairs as you see fit. Here are the keys to the back door, too. I'll never defy you again. Oh, so let's live together in peace from now on. Let's agree to do that. I'm on board whatever it takes, for rich or poor. Here, I'll vote you one. Take this belt. I'm giving it to you now as a token of our peace treaty. <laughs> and from now on, we'll see who wears the pants in this family. Holy moly, look how good that looks on you. This is just what we need. Like this! Uh, too hot. Lower that. Holy moly. Look how good you look. All dressed up and ready to go. Holy moly, I do look good. Now, what do they have to say about me? <laughs> Rise, Martin Eric Witt. You are Pooch E. Witt. From now on, we know who wears the pants in this family. And you can bet your sweet ass I've got the keys to your kingdom. I don't think I've ever looked so good or so fetching. <laughs> You're coochie wit. Coochie wit. <laughs> oh, my darling, I swear. For as long as I live, I'll be a good husband to you. And you'll be the keeper of my heart. And I promise to never ever forget that saying. How's it go again? Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Or how is about? Be careful what you wish for. It might come true. But for now, how is about? What goes around comes around. And now, lords and ladies, high and low, I humbly pray that you remember this lesson well. For sure, for sure, I'll never go off script. Now and forever, I am Gucci whipped. <laughs>